Tell me about yesterday, though. Tell me more details about. All right, where, so. Where did it start kind of getting? It never was good. Yeah. I was. I mean, it's. I had now. Granted, I had two, um, three hundred and seventeen, three hundred nineteen yard drives. Okay. The that one. Par five. That's down, up, down, and then across the goalie. Mm -hmm. I hit it 290 on that. So, but the problem is, I, I have those three, but then I have my other ones. My tee box strokes gained negative 8.1 on driving. The approach was negative 17.2. Short game was negative 0.3. Uh, and then putting was negative 4.6. So you can't hit a green if you're not hitting a fairway. Yeah. Especially out there in those dinky dude dog legs. And I want to say that I got, I had uh, zero greens in regulation. Yesterday? Yes. Holy cow. Zero? I think. Hey, let's see. Today was average that short game approach. Uh, let's see. Today I had zero percent greens in reg. And a a lot of that though was I would hit I like pulled I mean literally like pulled a tee shot with a three hybrid over there try to hit out from a tree hit another tree <laughs> you can do that there I mean it was uh, I just didn't know which way it was going I didn't know what swing thought to use I tried no swing thought I tried to paint a picture in my mind and then try and swing based on what that picture is. That didn't work. Uh, so, so mentally what I would tell you, what's worked for me when I get into a tournament, let's say I just, I got nothing. Yeah. What I always try to rely on there is rhythm, rhythm thoughts. And I kind of go back to the, the Davis Love theory where he, you know, when he takes, when he hits a golf ball, you know, there's his golf ball right there. He always kind of goes. He always kind of pushes it forward, takes it back. And then when he hits the golf ball in his mind, he's kind of gets the rhythm back. Right. Because when you get into a tournament, believe me, I've been there too. You know, you start with a swing thought, doesn't work. You say, okay, and I'm going to go to number two. <laughs> doesn't work. Yeah. And then you get to number three. And by the time you got three, now you're so out of rhythm, nothing works. Yeah. So that's why, you know, a lot of times, you know, you gotta, you gotta kind of, you gotta believe, I guess, in what you're doing, but you've also gotta have a back out, maybe two back outs. Yeah. You, know, you gotta say, okay, this is what my swing thought is today. You go to the range, you've worked all week, you know, before you go to a tournament. If you're like me, what I try to do is I say, okay. I got a tournament. We got Horseshoe Bay in two weeks. Right. Okay. So I go back to my swing thought that I had at Fredericksburg. Shot 71, 71, best I'd hit it in a year probably. Okay, what was that swing thought? So during practice for that next two weeks, I kind of got away from that. So I went back to it. That brought me back. So you gotta you gotta believe that one whatever that one swing thought is, it just gives you the good results every single time. That's what you're gonna work on this week. And it, it, you know, so like right now my swing thought just happens to be chest back and, and releasing. Okay, so I got a couple tools that I that kind of using to reinforce that thought. So when I go to the range, like yesterday, that's all I'm trying to do is to make sure that I'm saying, okay, making sure. I got a little visualization of that red dot of my laser light pointing there as I'm releasing. And when I do that, I get instant feedback, draw. Perfect. If I, if I hit a little necky fade or something, I'll say, okay, next swing, I've got to go. You know, so I'm just ingraining that one thought, right. trying to keep it in there. Now, if that thought just refuses to work, then, then I'll say, okay, well, now i got to go to number two, whatever that might be. And I've got a couple different thoughts that I kind of use. A lot of times it's just finish, uh, which you'd say, well, that sounds contradictory, but well, not really, because if I'm not finishing my swing, then I'll know something's going on. Right. Something's, 
something's blocking me. And so usually what I'll feel is I'll feel left foot off the ground. Okay, then go. So I gotta do a finish thought. So I'm always kind of, every ball I hit, I evaluate. Yeah. You know, I rehearse, I execute, I evaluate. Until I can just narrow it down to so fine tuning that, okay, here's what I'm gonna work on on tournament day, you know. Right. But, you know, it happens to all of us. That first day, I'm, I'm, I shot 80. I was five over after four. Yeah. Like, I haven't hit the perfect. I shot 66 on Sunday. I shoot 80 the next day, right? What the heck was the difference? Yeah. And that's the, I mean. You know, I don't know. I started birdie, bogey, birdie, birdie. And I'm, I'm all of a sudden, my mind just is like, I, it's going to, it's going to crack. Right? Instead of like, okay, I need another bird. Yeah. Because I'm like, the guys are with me, you know, they were, it was fun and they're like giving me a hard time. And I'm like, guys, just trust me, the wheels are going to fall off. Yeah. And then they did. Well, I mean, see you self prophecy. Self prophecy, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you got to, tournament golf is different. You got to be a strong son of a gun mentally. Yeah. You know, I mean, seriously, we do. I mean, people who play really at that high level, you got to respect what they do because we know how hard it is. It's like it's a, Man, it's just a fine line. All of a sudden, you're on the other side of it. <laughs> on the other side of it, right? Yeah. But it's got to be. I mean, mentally, and we haven't really talked a whole lot about the mental part of it. But I mean, one time I felt like quitting golf. That's probably how you felt yesterday. I was like, shit, do I want to work my ass off and get nothing out of it? You know, because I mean, this is work. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. I was in a slump for a year. I mean, I play. I quit almost playing tournament golf because it was no fun, right? Right. But. I like tournament golf. You like tournament golf. We want to get as good as we can get, right? So we can jump, jump back on that horse. Because I, I guarantee you're going to be right. I'm going to sit here. I'm going to watch it. And yeah, you might have a couple of things we're still working on, but it's like it, if the wheels are falling off that much, believe me, I know. I know I'm not being critical. My, no, my no. I mean, too, right? I mean, the score is the score. I the score, is the score. <laughs> but there's some disconnect there. There's something there that's not because you're too good of a player to, you know, like when I saw that. It's like holy crap. I mean, I've that's a complete mental breakdown, right? Right. Physical and, but a lot of mentally, you know, it's like, oh my. So it's like, okay, well, here's what I got to do to get better. Let's watch it. Let's see where you're at. Let's see what we got to work on. I did notice that I have an alignment issue with my three hybrid and three wood when I'm on the tee box. There it is. That was it. Okay. And then from there, uh -huh. yeah, it was a pull that from there, then I start trying to control it. And then I'll fan it open. Now, should it be, it popped on me back here. Uh, you'll, you'll, it should slide once you. Okay. You'll see, you'll see. Let me see if you're in the right spot. Let me set up here for a second. Let me see if that's where I was. I might have been like right here. So be a little closer. 
Okay. But that's what we're trying to. Hinging's a little tricky. A little tricky. Good. See, that's release. Yeah. Okay. All that is is just let that energy go. So you're, you're releasing, you're not scooping. Right. Otherwise, you'd look like this. So when I'm releasing, I'm just that's that's what the release is in the golf swing. Just what you're doing right there. It's just you're releasing it at chest level, level to the ground. Right. And you would slowly. So now when you make your golf swing, that's what I want you to try to feel is that your normal swing, don't hit the ground, but right here you're just really snapping that thing. You want that thing to snap off the end of the shaft. So you're just not releasing it and I think that can happen when all of a sudden you're steering it right and when you start steering it there's no release there's no there's no no mechanism to carry you all the way to your finish it's just you're hanging on to it for dear life when you're playing golf hanging on you're not gonna hit it very good right so you've been hanging on yeah it's easy to do I've done it too yeah but that's why I told you that little thought you know get right back here keep that chest there and release it but you're kind of you were here so you're too much here you're not getting the arms out in front of you and standing and releasing so like when i'm back here think of the red dot there uh -huh. and then yes now you got all this room you can sling that club all the way out to here yeah right i love that bottom line is i just love the idea of this is what we kind of talked about before right this is the piece that you're that you're not in instead of being right here you're more here right so it's like you're so we gotta we gotta get this we gotta get that look right there and then up and through it okay see i'm, I'm yes i'm keeping my chest closed but i'm not Flipping. trying to release it from back here right i'm just kind of well once i get here see then i'll move right on through it we got to get that sling where you feel your right arm extending because you don't feel your right arm extending right now i don't think no and so you, you have to have an awareness. You gotta have an awareness of that right arm. You know, you gotta hit a lot of punch shots. And we gotta get you there. Okay. That's totally different from there. Right. Because that's the kind of shots you should have been hitting yesterday in that big wind. There's some of those holes where you had to keep it out of the wind, especially those left to right holes like 12. You got the hole up in par five. You yeah. Big dog leg right, that was a funky hole. Yeah. It's a good Okay, go, take a back swing. Good. All right, now what are we going to do? Yeah, a little bit of that. Now where are you going from there? Right there. Straight up. Mm-hmm. Okay. And we want to stop it right out here. Okay. The reason I don't want you going here, mm -hmm. that'd be a hook. Right. All right, right up. Okay. Up. Okay, so this is where you were. Oop. Now, do I want to be looking this way or more like here at that point? Uh, I want you to. Okay, so this. So if we stopped there, for example, mm -hmm. I want you to be a little more erect. But look at that; that's a lot better. Yeah. I mean, especially if I bring the one on the left. We don't want to be there. Right. That's not good. This is real good. So your left arm is still connected, but now the right arm is going out and extending. It's not folding up with the left arm mm -hmm. going around you. So that's the feel. Zip. That's what you want. That's beautiful. This over here is going to be struggle, struggle, struggle. Look how narrow that is right here. You're down here by your... Mm -hmm. so 
See, look how much better that is. See how yeah. you opened up into the target? See there? So that release, when you're, when you're, when you're right here and you're thinking, snap it, mm -hmm. zoom, pulls you right up there with it. Okay. So it's, okay. So still, what you got to feel is still too much of a... Okay. It's got to be... Light. Had a little more zip on it. Yeah. Right? That's right. Do the little Jordan speed drill we did. Inside, up, inside, up. Golly. Over here. Good gosh. So it was inside up? Yep. And there you go. Right up there. So the path is coming across like yes, that. Yes, that's what it feels like. In reality, it won't be quite that much, but when you do this little drill, you want to come inside and up where you're really connected, and then right up there. Okay. See, that's nowhere near being where you were kind of there. Right. There and there. Right. So it's an active release spot. Good. That's it. And for the drill, you gotta miss the pole. That's right. Correct, yeah. Move just a hair, stay where you are. Go ahead okay. and get ready to hit one. Maybe one like that. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, good. So the drill, he would just do about five or six of those right in a row. Boom. And he'd pull it right back and keep doing it. That's it. When you hit the ball, you'll be a little bit bigger than that. You just make sure that it's up, not left. Right. You gotta release the head a little bit. Good. Good. Okay. Ball. Nice wiper. Yeah. So the swiper and the hook are actually the same thing. Yeah. See, you're still connected down to your door. See, you never got any. You got no extension. Look at that. Your right arm doesn't ever extend. Kind of grind it out. Yeah, it's all right here. That's why it's so important to do that. Okay. There's a lot more there, so you'll get it. Right now, you're too much here, so there's. So it's all. It's all.
take your setup, go ahead and put it here, take it up here, get to here. Now, where do you go? You gotta release it. Yeah, you gotta let the body rotate and go out now. There you go. Good more. Do I need to be more out here? Yeah. As you, as you think about this, this is a thought that I've used in the past, is, this is a good thought for you, is keep the right shoulder high. Not that okay. you're doing this, right. but right now when you're here, you see your right shoulder is low and it's back. So when I'm coming right here, I'm thinking right shoulder high. See how that makes me come all the way to yeah. here? So if I'm thinking right shoulder high with this thing, when I get right here, see I can't go here. Right. So I'm trying to, I'm not letting this get too far under. So I really feel like right here, right shoulder high, and up. You don't ever go low. Right. Which is kind of, you know, you'll hear some, you know, the right shoulder does go low automatically because you're tilting and everything, but you had too much of that. So you gotta, you gotta do just the opposite. You gotta do just the opposite to get the feel. So when you get to here, See, it's not going to hit you. And then it goes up. Good though after you really get the feel of it. 